Dayton. We've seen them reach their highest ranking in over 50 years so far this season already, Colin, but a special player leading the way right there. Yes, Coach Anthony Grant has simplified the offense. Let's feature Obi Toppin, he is saying, and boy, is he's producing. Mm. He is averaging 19.5 points per game, eight rebounds per game, and 1.3 blocks per game. This guy can do it all on the court. He can score from the inside. We see him dunking. He can score from the perimeter. He's getting defensive rebounds, pushing the ball up like a point guard, dropping dimes, getting guys involved in the game. NBA scouts are drooling at this guy's skill set. He's an elite player. Yeah, you want to go watch him. When's no he question. on? When's he uh, on? He's right? tremendous. He's a lottery pick, in my opinion. You know, great, explosive. He can score inside or outside. It's like he's on a trampoline. He goes up, up, and away. He flies through the air. Strong. Uh, 19 points a game, as Khalid said, a tremendous player, and I think he'll be certainly a lottery pick, and uh, he could lead Dayton to a big, big run in the NCAA tournament. He was obviously very good last season, but he undeniably took a jump. He went from somebody who looked like they could maybe play in the NBA someday to somebody, like both of you said, is going to be a lottery pick in the 2020 NBA draft if he enters the 2020 NBA draft. He is the biggest reason <laughs> why Dayton right now has the third best offense in terms of offensive efficiency in America and what's wild about it this is somebody who according to 24 7 sports was a zero star recruit coming out of high school wow. to go from that to this it's pretty remarkable yeah see what hard work does for you I mean, <laughs> he, he is cut as well uh, and Dayton led by a coaching veteran really uh, Anthony Grant in his third year there looking to take a team back to the dance for the first time since going with Alabama in 2012 been there with VCU before that you remember where you were when they beat Duke I actually do I was working out believe it or not uh, <laughs> oh. but how does he keep these flyers flying right now coach well I've known Anthony Grant a long time when he played at Dayton I was assistant at Notre Dame for Digger Phelps and he was a tremendous player then and he's a terrific coach now as you mentioned before he did a wonderful job at VCU did a great job there and then went to Alabama didn't work out quite as well and he's back doing a tremendous job now for the Flyers last year won 21 games almost made the big dance played in the NIT got beat first round but he's doing a great job he's got veterans there Obi Toppin and he's got a good point guard does a great job Crutchfield so uh, he's got the big guy and the guard all right and they got depth a lot of players athletes so and the two games he lost both in overtime, as you know, to Kansas and to Colorado on neutral sites. This is a special team. They could have won both those games. They'd be now top five, six in the country. Yeah, coming off the road win at St. Joe's. They'll be back home against UMass on Saturday. Now, you were talking about the efficiency numbers. I know you love the, the Ken Palm numbers as well with this team. It's just a, a good way to, to identify some of the best teams in the country to see if the computer numbers match up with what your eyes are telling you. And if you watch Dayton early in the season, you saw them in the Maui Invitational, they looked the part. Even when they lost to Kansas they look like a legitimate team now all the computer numbers line up with that they're eighth in Ken Palm they're eighth in the net so this isn't just a team with a nice record this is a team that is performing at a level that gives it a very realistic chance to maybe advance to a final four all right and you can hit refresh on those numbers um, <laughs> <laughs> after Saturday